Come join us on our supermarket tour. Myself, Hope, and Vin decided to attend Loblaws at the Church in Carleton location. One, because of its closeness to Ryerson University, and also because they are one of the top grocery retailers in Canada. They are considered one of the best go-to places for all your needs. Loblaws goes beyond just being known as a grocery store. Here in the produce section, we notice the instrumental music in the background, something that is also strategically designed to keep customers shopping. What do you think of Loblaws so far? just because of A, the historic building here and the display. But as we did some prior research to coming here, um, some of the facts that we learned actually make sense. So as soon as we walked in, all the floors um, are orange. All the buggies are orange. Certain decor that they have um, is orange. And already you can see the manipulation behind what goes into uh, consumer buying power and right off the way we started there was flowers there was your end tables of chocolate and candy and you had all your gourmet food at the front so clearly there is strategic planning going on in the supermarkets um, even with the sale size of you know $3.99 the sticker is orange and yellow it's going with those certain colors that are known to wanting customers to buy the food. Something here, like that, we also learned it is all placed at the back of the store instead of at the front. So they do have it strategically set up that you have to go through all the aisles before to get back here to buy your meats and your dairy and stuff like that. What do you think about the music? So the music, um, you actually have to really listen to figure out what song. Um, the volume is obviously at a low, like a uh, slower volume, and it's songs that low tempo. They're not fast, which is something that they want. They're not going to be playing electronic music or dance music. Something that's calm that will keep you here longer, uh, and so you can shop longer. Funny is that even the price tag is orange. Even the, yeah, and even here, like two for nine, multi. So people are gonna see that and think, oh, we're getting a deal, but really, maybe you're not. <laughs> I don't know, I feel attracted to buy some juice now. <laughs> Supplements now that we can see that are being included in supermarkets, making it kind of this one-stop shop where you can get anything from vitamins to baby wipes to diapers to chips kind of all in one place, but also appealing to the consumer who likes to eat healthier and likes more of that nutritious lifestyle so that they can have these products and have that consumer come into the supermarket as well. As we're walking now, we're kind of more in the center with all the specific aisles. And as we can see, kind of at the end of aisles, you have these kind of sections set up that are more impulse buy. So maybe, you know, $3.49 each or buy a multi. And they place these at the end of the aisles to kind of get consumers to buy the products. We know that if they see it and they see it with the sign, they're more likely to buy it. We also found it interesting, you know, why are there coloring books and cooking books kind of set up, you know, and this section is kind of set up near cosmetics and the baby section and kind of the frozen section, so I don't know if that's strategically placed for some reason. So right now, me and Vin are standing in front of a section that is promoting kind of President's Choice, uh, different frozen fruits, different um, smoothie bars, ice cream, and obviously here, you know, maybe President's Choice and the menu, kind of all the same. Maybe they have that shelf space that they pay for. Make sure that all their products are going to be in this section. So that's another thing to think about is how much money are they spending to have this, their products in this section because right now what we can see is just all President's Choice. There's not another brand kind of in this certain section right now. Thing to point out is, um, you know, we have stuffed animals <laughs> over here. Tablecloths. <laughs> so, you know, is this attracting 
you know, families that go in with their kid because they know once they see this, they're going to want to buy it. Um, Damn, I want one now. And obviously now with the season of Easter coming up, you see more of your mini eggs, your lint chocolates, all throughout kind of the store. It's only March. Um, yeah, and it's only March. <laughs> and now you can see like home stuff that you can get, you know, little candles and strainers and cups. Or adding that element of like, you know, home outfitters and all that as well. So here's the baking aisle. So obviously they have strategically placed your baking pans, um, your muffin tins, all right here. So you know if you're making muffins, they kind of incline you. You can buy your tin here and buy the mix in the aisle right beside it. So here we're just kind of in the cereal aisle and granola bars, and we're just trying to see um, kind of who's being advertised in the main spots because that is another thing that uh, supermarkets do is the product placement. But here we notice there's knives and a bread knife and a spatula kind of just randomly placed in the cereal section. I think it's kind of random. And now we're just kind of going to take a look at the cereal aisle and see kind of what's at eye level, what's at the top and what's at the bottom. So I read something that usually they put kind of more bulkier items at the bottom and here if we look all at the bottom of the cereal section it is all your jumbo big size cereal so from rice krispies as family size or it'll say jumbo uh, mini wheat so that's kind of interesting that it's all at the bottom uh, another thing to kind of point out if we're looking at eye level is the fact that um, there's also family size which is one step so if a parent's coming in they're automatically drawn to the family size of that. And then right here, which is like, they want you to get, you know, here we see all Kellogg's from, which is right. But then if you go a bit higher, it's more of like your healthier kind of cereals, like Blue Mimi and Multigrain, or Multigrain Cheerios. So there's kind of this divide in the cereal section that people don't really realize until you actually take a closer look. As we started our tour, Everywhere we went was kind of right-handed and that is what they kind of want you to do. They kind of set everything up so it follows like your right hand. And as me and Vin went through the supermarket, we just did that. That's how we kind of went in. So also shows how things are strategically placed in the supermarket. So another thing to notice too, um, towards some of the end of the aisles is uh, so final thoughts to take away after going through Loblaws. Firstly, the boutiquing technique is definitely noticeable. We see that previously with the baking pans near the baking aisle. Second is the concept of spatial colonization where certain products are being placed in more visible areas. And that was seen clearly throughout the whole store. Um, it is said that the end of aisle shopping boost sales of 100% and maybe that could be why the PC dedicates a whole freezer full of their products or how Lace Chips is at the end of the checkout. It also leads into these high impulse buys at checkouts which we see whether it's chips, whether it's chocolates, we even see certain words saying our baker's pick and it'll be more inclined for consumers to actually buy these products. Um, and it's hard not to be manipulated, I find personally, when you see a sales um, sign, you know, I'm drawn to it, whether it's the color, whether it's a new product. And for me, I find Lava's aesthetically pleasing and I feel like I want to stay longer and check out more of the aisles. And it's crazy to think about how much money and time is planned into buying habits of consumers. And most consumers are completely unaware of going on, especially, you know, they don't think about the music. They don't think that why is PC placed here? Why are knives placed in the cereal aisle? Um, so doing this tour really opened up my eyes to kind of what is going on when I go shopping. So hopefully in the future, next time I go back to Loblaws, I will have a handy dandy list and hopefully I can stick to the list of what I need, what the necessities are on the list, and hopefully I will not be manipulated in the future by Loblaws. <laughs> Same.